हेलो डेर स्टूडेंट्स प्रिय विद्यार्थी आणि विद्यार्थिनी नो आज आपण बायोटिक इंट्रॅक्शन या चॅप्टरमधील उर्वरित भाग घेणार आहे द रिमेनिंग पार्ट्स ऑफ बायोटिक इंट्रॅक्शन इज द प्रिडॅशन अँड पॅरासिटीज सो टुडे वी विल सी व्हॉट इज द प्रिडॅशन and what is the parasitism so remember here we are studying the biotic interaction or dependent of animals on each other which is also called as the animal association so in our syllabus five types of biotic interaction are given for study so already we have completed three types of the biotic interaction three types of the animal association or dependent first one is the commensalism second one is the mutualism third one is the what is third one so commensalism mutualism then the predation parasitism so you remember different types of the biotic interaction we are studying here so five types out of that five types the third one which is asked for you you are remembering or not that is very important that is very important commensalism mutualism and third type of the biotic interaction is a competition and competition is very important because charles darwin also called competition is nothing but the struggle for existence aplya swatacha astitva sathi sangharsh competition so that three types of the biotic interaction remember commensalism mutualism and competition this three type of biotic interaction is completed and today we will see the fourth type of biotic interaction that is the predation this is denoted by the positive negative and here try to remember and um, understand positive means beneficial and negative means harmed or in the loss positive negative means one partner is benefited and other partner is in the loss other partner is harmed such type of interaction is called as the predation another type the parasitism as per our syllabus here also positive negative means one is in benefit and other is in the loss other is harm such type of benefit is called as the parasitism all these are the animal dependent animal association biotic interactions <coughs> now today we will see the predation and parasitism that is the remaining part from the biotic interaction so here now we will start the predation remember predation the definition definition of predation a direct relationship of animals direct relationship of animals between two different animals direct relationship between the animals and that animals are not similar animals that animals are different animals different animals so here a direct relationship between two different animals in which one animal captures another for food very danger type of the biotic interaction here the there is the there is the relationship direct relationship in that relationship one one partner captures and finish the other animals other which is in the interaction eaten by that so such type of interaction is called as the predation remember predation a direct relationship between two different animals in which one animal captures one animal capture means one animal um, being for the food captures other animals 
finish other animals, killed other animals, and eaten by other animals. So, captures another animal for food eating. So, here the biotic interaction, the two animals, from that one animal, so one is benefited and so there is a loss, other is killed, other is finished. So, the animal which captures the other animal, that is called as the predator. Predator. Predator, in our own language, we will say bhakshak. Bhakshak. So, predator and other animal which is eaten, which is killed, which is finished, that animal is called as the prey. So, here, predator and prey. Interaction. Predator and prey dependent. This predator depends on the prey. But prey is not dependent on the predator. Prey tries to escape from the predator. Prey try to run away from the predator. Because prey know that predator will be finished or predator will be killed to us. So one is always in the try to escape from the predator. And predator is always try to capture that prey and eat that. That is very, that is the food need of the predator. So predator always larger. Remember some characters of the predator. Predator is always larger than the prey. You see cat and rat. You see one is the predator, other is the prey. Which one is the predator? In the cat and rat relationship, the larger one, that is the cat, cat is the predator, and rat, mouse, that is the prey. So, predator is always larger than the prey, because to hunt, because to capture, you think what happened? If the prey is larger than the predator, bhakshi ye bhakshi ka peksha motor nasto. Bhakshak ha bhaksha peksha motor nasto. Jo shikar karto to motor nasto. Apan asa manushik to ki manjar undra chis shikar karto. Manjar nahi bhi moti undir nahi bhi chota. So predator is larger than the prey. And predator is well equipped for capturing the prey. So, nakha stat nakha, nails for capturing the prey. Like the hooks, nails are like the hooks. Once they hold the prey, that never escape from the predator. Understanding? <coughs> you are understanding? Predation, predator relationship, characteristics of the predator. Predator is always larger. Predator is well equipped. Predator having the high power of vision for, for searching the prey. You, you know eagle, garud, garud bakshi, far uncha urun, khadi tita bakshi bakatast, undrala bakatast, sashala bakatast. So, predator always having the high power of vision, high power of the hunting ability of searching the predator. So, they are the some characteristics of the predator. Now, in the ecosystem, in the nature, there are number of examples of the predator and prey. So, here some examples are given for understanding <coughs> that is the frog and insect. Now, these two animals, frog and insect, here one animal is the predator and other animal is the insect. Predator and prey relationship, predator and prey association are dependent. Now, here in frog and insect, which is the predator and which is the prey? Definitely you know that frog is the predator and insects are the prey. Frogs are always eating the insects. <coughs> In night time, number of times, I know that you have observed, there is a frogs coming, frogs. And due to the uh, light, 
some insects are attracted and that insects fall the frog is eat that insects frog is the predator insects are the prey number of times you are observing that on the wall very near to the light tube light or bulb the insects are attracted insects are attracted and very near to the that light there is a wall lizard wall lizard so jala par palm so that wall lizard capturing the insect which is very near to the light so that is the predator and that insects are number of examples are there in the nature so here example is given frog and insect another example <coughs> mongos herpestis herpestis zoological name of the mongos mongos is the common name you know mongos but zoological name of that mongos is the herpestis zoological name of the wall lizard pal wall lizard hemidactylis so some name is a regional name common name and we we should know the zoological name of that animals because we are the students of zoology we have choiced one subject as optional zoology so we should know the detailed knowledge of the zoology we should know the zoological name of animals so here common mongoose and snake so here the predator and prey now here you should know मुंगूस इज द प्रिडेटर एंड स्नेक इज द प्रे तुम्हारा महित है मुंगूस सापा की लड़ाई मुंगूस सापा फ्रीज कर सो मुंगूस एंड स्नेक सो समाइम्स हियर द प्रे दैट इज द स्नेक एंड मुंगूस इज द प्रिडेटर नाउ दिस 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 प्रे हियर मुंगूस एंड स्नेक इन दिस इंट्रैक्शन स्नेक इज द प्रे but sometimes the prey is also predator sometimes prey is also predator try to understand and remember sometimes prey in other cases also the predator if you are observing the snake and rat snake is snake and rat mouse here snake is the predator and rat is the prey it is स्नेक जी है भक्ष्य का है रैट जी है प्रिय है सो इन एनी केसेस इन द नेचर इन द इकोसिस्टम देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द एनिमल्स आई विल शो यू सम एक्सेप्शनल केसेस हियर द फ्रॉक एंड इंसेक्ट सो आई विल से आई विल शो यू सम न्यूज पेपर कट फॉर यू कट पेस्ट सम इंसेक्ट्स are very dangerous for the frogs here snake and rat some rat is dangerous for the snake exceptional cases so remember that here some not only animals some plants are also the predator some plants are also predator they are capturing the insects you know the example the uh, insect insectivorous plant insectivorous plant the example is the verasus fly trap this is the one plant and it having a uh, rounded rounded structure and on that uh, rounded structure there is a lid that lid opens and when insect co comes to that plant and enter that structure rounded structure that lid is closed that lid is open and when insects come in that structure that is closed open and close open and close so when the lid is closed that insects is captured is eaten by the versus fly trap so remember plant also the predators and the example of predator plant is the versus fly trap it traps the insects and that's why that plant is called as the insectivorous plants remember so this is sufficient about the predation now another type of the interaction is the parasitism here also the symbol positive negative in the bracket remember 
this is the positive negative symbol in bracket that indicates the <coughs> parasitism so here positive means one partner is benefited and negative means other partner is harmed so the biotic interaction in which one partner is benefited and other partner is harmed such type of the animal association or such type of dependent of animals is called as the parasitism remember parasitism there are two animals one animal is benefited other animal is in the loss harm or trouble that is called as the parasitism here the two animals which is in the interaction which is in the dependent or association so from that one one partner is called as one animal is called as the host and other is called as the parasite host parasite relationship so the parasite is dependent on the host parasite getting the benefit from the host host are harmed by the parasite so when the parasite is completing their life cycle in only one host in only one host such type of the parasite are called as monogenetic parasite remember monogenetic parasite the parasite which completes their life cycle complete life cycle in only one host such type of parasite are called as the monogenetic parasite number of examples are in the nature now another type of the parasite is the diagenetic parasite a parasite which completing half life in one host and remaining half life in another host means two hosts are there so such type of parasite are called as the diagenetic parasite so in the basic types of the parasite so on the basis of the host parasite relationship parasites are monogenetic type parasite and diagenetic parasite two types of the parasite basically monogenetic diagenetic that means two mono means one remember now we will see the types of parasitism types of parasites so parasites are of different types ectoparasite endoparasite temporary parasite and permanent parasite there are four types of the parasite in the nature so here ecto ecto that first one ecto parasite means the parasite which is living on the body of the host for example mosquito for example bed bug for example ticks mites for example head louse lice number of examples which is the parasite and living on the body externally so they are called as the ectoparasites endoparasite similarly the parasite which is living inside the body of host they are called as the endoparasites number of examples are there plasmodium that is the malarial parasite living inside the body particularly in the blood the place is also different of the habitat this plasmodium found in the blood of the malarial parasite amoeba in amoeba found in the intestine ascaris number of examples are there indo parasite those are living inside the body of the host then temporary parasite sometimes parasite are a parasite or living on the host or depend on the host for a specific time period not throughout the life temporary so such parasites are called as the temporary parasite and the most common example of the temporary parasite is glochidium larva this glochidium larva living in the body of bivalve simply bivalve for a particular period not throughout the life so glochidium larva is an example of temporary parasite which is depend on the host that is bivalve permanent parasite 
your parasite is completing their life cycle or complete life depend on the host that is called as the permanent parasite and the example of permanent parasite is the ascaris ascaris is a parasite intestinal parasite which is common in the children a larger one parasite so tinea solium a number of other examples are there in the nature so remember in today's period we have studied the predation and parasitism this is the two remaining interaction from the chapter biotic interaction today we have completed that so this chapter is completed here and as per our syllabus as per our syllabus you have to remember till today what we have completed aaj parent apan kay kay purna kelela hai now we will just summarize here i will just summarize here what we have completed till today aaj parent apan kay kay purna kelela hai he corona kala madhe covid 19 ya kala madhe work from the house madhe apan kay kay पूर्ण के सो लिसन एज पर युअर सिलेबस द सिलेबस इज पेपर युअर पेपर इज ट्वेल्थ ऑल ऑफ यू रिमेम्बर ऑल ऑफ यू लिसन हियर केयरफुली सी हियर व्हाट वी हैव कंप्लीटेड टिल टुडे आज पर्यत अपन का पूर्ण के सो आवर पेपर इज ट्वेल्थ एंड दैट ट्वेल्थ पेपर नेम इज इकोलॉजी इकोलॉजी एंड झू जियोग्राफी झू जियोग्राफी इकोलॉजी एंड झू जियोग्राफी दिस पेपर ट्वेल्थ पेपर फॉर बी एस सी थर्ड इयर फॉर सेमिस्टर फिफ्थ वी हैव स्टार्टेड एंड इन दैट द यूनिट फर्स्ट यूनिट फर्स्ट that unit first is from the ecology remember for your understanding it is from the ecology and in that unit we have studied the first chapter that is the introduction introduction of ecology introduction of ecology we have completed in unit first first chapter now then second chapter from the unit first is the introduction remember introduction see here you can write for your understanding or for to know what we have completed so introduction to uh, sorry ecosystem introduction of introduction to ecosystems introduction to ecosystem there are different bits and third chapter we have studied that is the bio geo chemical cycles bio geo chemical cycles those who are previously absent they should know that the unit first there are three chapters we have completed the introduction of ecology then introduction to ecosystem then bio geo chemical cycle fourth chapter is also there that is the spheres of earth spheres of earth remember this fourth chapter is in the unit first and that fourth chapter we have completed successfully all of you attend some students they was absent i am having the presenty report now after completing this we have started the unit second remember we have started the unit second and that unit is also on the ecology i am just summarizing here what we have completed so unit first we have completed which is from the ecology unit second then we started and in unit second the first chapter is the population ecology population ecology we have completed in the population ecology there are different characteristics of the population 
that we have studied then after the population ecology the next chapter we have started that is the biotic interaction biotic interaction and in biotic interaction there are five types of the biotic interaction are given we have completed we have today we have finished this chapter also biotic interaction so commensalism there mutualism there competition there then predation is there and then parasitism so predation and parasitism we have today completed so in unit second there is only two chapters so till today we have completed the two units unit first and unit second the notes i am typing the notes i am scanning the figures and i am making the pdf file that i will send on whatsapp so you try to understand come regular attend the period regular online period regular i am making here videos you can see number of times that videos if making the online period so there is only one chance if you are present then you can look you can see or you can listen the period if you are absent on online that so no chances of again to seeing or observing so students if you are having any difficulties you can contact me you can ask your difficulty on the mm, mobile so live in the home take the care we will arrange the period definitely we will complete the syllabus don't cry about the corona we will see the uh, see the our way in corona also so students for today it is sufficient thank you